Wait, is this a public area? Well, come on out, gentlemen. Can you ask that sir? question? Step out, please. Is this a public area? Sir, please step out. I don't okay. think this is legal. Uh, somebody came in here with a camera before, an investigative journalist, and his First Amendment right was violated by your own police chief. Hey, go get your ID. Unlock the car so he can get his ID. It's not a request. Oh, it's not a request. No, not at all. If you ask me for my ID right now, I can refuse, right? You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mmm. What is that? No comment. Look at her and President Biden. <laughs> Look at this propaganda here, ladies and gentlemen. Are you really quitting, ma'am, for a camera? Yeah, I'm quitting for a camera. Because I'm going to lose my job and hit it. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we are at the infamous Village Hall here in Dalton, Illinois. The Village of Dalton's mayor, Tiffany Henyard, is the most corrupt and tyrannical mayor I have ever seen. Journalist Tommy G recently visited Dalton and had his constitutional rights violated by Mayor Henyard's goon squad. Do you have ID? In Illinois, you have to have ID. Do you we have, have ID? ID? May I see it, please? What is the thing you suspect us of doing? In a minute, I'm asking you. This is a public taxpayer area that we're now being Step over here, sir. hassled. Step over here. I know who you are. Get your information. Get it right. That sounds like a threat. The video now has close to 3 million views and is very informative. I highly encourage you to watch it if you haven't already. I will link it in the description below. I am fully expecting myself to get arrested as I will not bow down to the Dalton Police Department's unconstitutional orders. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting inside the infamous Village Hall here in Dalton, Illinois. There she goes, Mayor Tiffany Henyard, one of the most corrupt mayors I don't need any help at the moment, ma'am. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Okay, make sure you ask him this time that you're not going to give him the right to record you guys because you can let him know. Tell him. You're not going to let him know. You're in public, sir. Everybody's picture's always being taken at all times in public. They have security cameras here. I'm creating a hostile work environment, ma'am. You are creating the hostile work environment, ma'am, yourself. I'm not recording any customers right now. I'm recording you because you're speaking to me. Was I recording to you before you interrupted me and got involved in my business, ma'am? I wasn't, was I? I expect nothing less from an employee of Tiffany Henyard. So I've been driving through Dalton on my way here, obviously, and... All you see is Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Picture everywhere. Her picture is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. We have YouTubers in here with cameras. We're gonna send the police over right now. So looks like law enforcement is on the way. Last time they said in the state of Illinois, when the other YouTube channel came here. They bullied him. He was doing great investigative work. I'm sure you all have seen that the video has over 2.5 million views. They bullied him, told him to identify himself because in the state of Illinois, apparently it's just like Nazi Germany. You have to identify yourself when asked by a law enforcement, when told. Propaganda. This is what this is. Propaganda. Look at her and President Biden. <laughs> Look at this propaganda here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what Mayor Tiffany Henry is good for. Corruption, stealing taxpayer money. Taking her trips to Las Vegas, spending thousands, tens of thousands of dollars of taxpayer money at the Four Seasons, going to Las Vegas, going to fancy restaurants, flying first class. This is the village of Dalton has a, the taxpayers here, I believe there are only 20,000 residents, taxpayers here. And she runs around town with her security detail, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars 
her own personal security detail, puts up her propaganda, has the Tiffany Cares Foundation that she's now separating herself from because it's not in compliance with the state regulations. But yet she was out there accepting donations. The name of the foundation is Tiffany Cares. Did you call the police? Yeah, I called the police. Ma'am, can I get your name? No, no, I'm good. Not, not you, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> ma'am, do you mind if I get your name, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name, ma'am? It's not very professional of you. You're quitting? Yeah. Why are you quitting? You don't want to serve the people of Dalton? She's going to show us why she quit. She quit her job right now. Are you really quitting, ma'am, for a camera? Yeah, I'm quitting for a camera because I'm going to lose my job. So I might as well quit. Hey, how are you, sir? I'm Officer Harper. Don't officer Harper, Harper, Dalton Police Department. Nice to meet you, Officer Harper. All right, sir. Um, this I'm, I'm this woman gonna... said she's going to do so. I just want to make this clear. This is The camera is the less important thing. This woman just quit her job and said that she is going to... She says she's going to quit her job. She quit her job right now mm -hmm. because she's going out to her car to go because she's about to lose her job for what she's about to do. So to me, that sounds like a threat and the more pressing issue right now. So just wanted to make you aware of her intentions and what she said on camera, that she's about to lose her job for something that she's about to do. Do you mind if I get your name and badge number as well, sir? Akron 114. Akron? Akron. Akron. Thank you, sir. I appreciate so, it. Sir, I'm not going to violate your First Amendment rights. You have a right to be in here. All I'm just saying is it's causing disturbance with the video, which I don't have a problem with you videoing. That's your First Amendment right. Not going to violate that, sir. And I appreciate that, sir. You know, uh, last time, you know, somebody uh, somebody came in here with a camera before an investigative journalist, and his First Amendment right was violated by your own police chief. Uh, he in, in Illinois, you don't have to ID uh, uh, law enforcement officers unless you committed a crime, correct? Correct. You don't just have to. If you ask me for my ID right now, I can refuse, right? Okay, I just want to clarify because I've seen videos where the chief of police and other law enforcement officers have said that in the state of Illinois, you have to identify as soon as you demand ID. And I know that not to be the case. I'm very well familiar with the law here in Illinois. And I just wanted to make sure, listen, I walked in here, wasn't even filming anybody in particular. I'm working, as you know. You're filming me. Okay. I don't, I'm not, I know, I don't want to, sir. I, I, all I told him was that everybody, you're being filmed at all times, no matter what. But, no, I, I'm talking... Sir. Yeah. yeah, no, I don't want to get into any back and forth with anybody, sir. Yeah, I, that's not what I'm here for. But I'm just saying that obviously there's a lot of controversy with the mayor of Dalton, right? I'm not here for no reason whatsoever. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm investigating Mayor Tiffany Dalton, your mayor here. And obviously there's a lot of controversy. There's been a lot of mainstream media coming here. I'm just an independent journalist. I don't work for a mainstream media organization, nor do I need to. I'm just here. Again, I don't want to get into arguments with these people. You have uh, village employees that are threatening me and threatening me to, you know, whatever she's going to do to me that's going to make her lose her job. I don't know what that is. But, um, again, I don't want any issues whatsoever. This one behind you is taking my picture right now. I don't care. We're in public. You know that, sir. So I, I don't want you to violate my rights. Uh, you said you weren't going to, and I appreciate that. I don't want to escalate with anybody. And no one wants to be on a recording, but everybody wants to take my picture. I'll smile for you. It's not a big deal. I don't want to argue with you guys. It's, it's, this is for transparency. I'm not here for you. I'm here investigating the mayor. You said you were not photographing me, and you told the story. Well, so, sir, that's fine. I'm not going to go back and forth. So, I'm not. Right, it's not can worth I ask it. You a question, sir. Are you? Do you want a FOIA request or anything? Yeah, I was actually looking to do a FOIA, uh, a FOIA request, right? And I wanted to get some documents for the story I'm working on, right? So what we do is we put up this counter. We'll figure that out real quick. Great, for sure. FOIA request, yep. And then if you want to handle that situation with that. I can document that and make a report for you as well. Okay. Right. No, I just want to make sure that she's not going to. She just walked out of her job. She was literally behind the counter. Okay. She said to everybody, I quit. And I said, why are you quitting what, over a camera? And she said, no, because what I'm about to do is going to get me fired anyway. Okay. So that sounds like a threat to me, and I think that should be handled. 
you know, she's a public servant. I don't know what she's capable of. She went to her car. I don't know if she's getting a weapon of any You're kind. I don't know. Again, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not necessarily scared of what she's going to do. I don't know her. I don't know what she, she made the threat, not me. I'm not trying to threaten anybody. I'm not trying to harass anybody. So yeah, I'll do my FOIA request and I appreciate that. Where would I go for that? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. So it's okay for you guys to record, but not me, right? Doesn't make sense. I'm only recording you because you sit up here and said you were not recording me and you were. Well, you, asked you, not to. you were in the video, sir, as no, I as I walked me, in. I was in a public place and then you could do it. Right, that is true. You, yeah, that's what you did. That is true. You right. sit up here and told a whole lot of stuff. So you're a supporter of Mayor Tiffany Henry, sir? That's not your business. It, I would assume it, I'm, I would assume you are. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. No, I'll leave when I'm ready, ma'am. Thank you. Illinois Freedom of Information Act request. The village of Dalton. Let's fill this out. Okay, great. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we're going to submit our FOIL request for some documents related to our investigation into Tiffany Henyard. And then we'll begin out of here. We still have law enforcement here, just hanging out with the man with the camera. Apparently there's nothing else for them to do, even though Dalton is rampant with crime. Yes, ma'am. Here you go, thank you. I appreciate that, thank you so much. Thank you. That's it, ma'am, thank you, I appreciate it, thank you. So she's also, Tiffany Henry is also the supervisor of the Thornton Township. I believe that there is a public meeting here tonight. Thank you very much. Excuse me, ma'am. I actually have another question, if I may ask. Ma'am, I just have one more question for you. Uh, is there a public meeting here tonight at 630? There is not? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Do you know when the next public meeting is? The 1st of April. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's been about 20 minutes. I don't think they're really going to go anywhere until I leave. I have other things to do today. They're not obviously violating my First Amendment rights. They're just standing around. So I think I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go try and find, do some more investigating on Tiffany Henyard. See if we can ask the woman herself what's going on in the village of Dalton here and the township, Thornton Township. And what's up with all these allegations of corruption, trips to Vegas, everything that we've all seen over the past several months. That's why I felt necessary to come here. I felt it very necessary to come here. And you see the way that the public servants treated us as soon as we walked in. We don't give you permission to record us. We're going to call the police and have you removed even a veiled threat by one of the public employees here who says she quits apparently and that she is gonna get fired she wants to quit because she's gonna get fired for what she's about to do to me which obviously ridiculous I'm not going to make a statement or a complaint about it I'm not you know she's obviously just a tyrant whatever she'll get her karma what's coming to her but you know, we're going to be getting out of here. All right, guys. Take care. Have a nice day. Nice, you, nice meeting you. Take care. Have a nice day, officer. Stay safe out there, guys. Take care, sir. So we will be back here before the day's end. I'm just not going to stand inside. I've already gotten, did my FOIA request. Looked at all the propaganda. Here's some more propaganda right here. Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Can't wait for that sign all of the signs, all of the propaganda she has throughout this entire village here to be taken down. I've driven through this village. It is not the nicest of places. And, uh, except for the signs, the people's choice. Keeping my promises, fighting for residents. So we have the law enforcement officers leaving now that showed up to the scene keeping her promises and fighting for residents. You see, that's what they should have been doing instead of 
waiting around with a man with a camera. Go to real calls. Go handle real crime. This is not a crime. This is a constitutionally protected activity. But of course, Tiffany Henyard's police department and her village employees here, the public servants here, wouldn't know anything about that. I don't see how she's fighting for residents by spending money at the Four Seasons and taking trips to Vegas, spending tens of thousands of dollars on her own personal, you know, pleasure. Four Seasons, first class, must be nice. 20,000 residents here in the village of Dalton, and she's flying first class, driving a $150,000 SUV, or being driven around in by her security detail, I should say, in a $150,000 SUV with a double digit, I believe a 20 something percent. I'll put the actual contract in the video, but very high interest rate. Doesn't know how to govern. From what I hear, the FBI is closing in. Mm. We're already here. So let's go see if we could do some more investigating here in the village of Dalton. What we can do. Maybe we could talk to some residents about how they feel about this entire scandal that's going on, how they feel about the mayor. I thought there was a village meeting tonight, obviously not, but, you know, again, what a difference. Right outside this door is where we see in the video of the journalist getting pushed out, forced to ID under threat of arrest, and so that he could not record in Village Hall. Look how things have changed. That's why these videos really are important. They affect real change. Exposing tyranny and corruption is of the utmost importance. They didn't even try. I was ready today to get arrested. I was completely ready. I said, well, I'm going to get arrested because they're going to say, you got an ID or you're going to jail. Because here in the state of Illinois, you have to ID when an officer demands it. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I was told, I asked, and they told me that there was it. There was supposed to be one today, right? Yes. At 6.30? They told me no, but they could have been lying. They called the police on me. I'm, I'm an investigative journalist. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in public. Yeah, no, no, no. I just, I'm an investigative journalist. I came here from Long Island, New York, and I'm working on a story for Tiffany Henry. You're a resident of Dalton? Um, I'm a former resident of Dalton. Former resident. Oh, cool. Very nice. What's your YouTube channel called? Okay. What is it? Burgundy Blue Commentary. Burgundy Blue Commentary. Yeah, okay. So I'm just doing, but I'm not, um, I'm just, what I'm doing, I just want to see what the Right. 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 Take care. Um, my name is Sean. My YouTube channel is Long Island Audit. Check it out. Thanks. You too. So there goes the uh, secretary who helped us out. A lot of people investigating the village of Dalton. That's what makes social media great. We all become investigative journalists. We all have a platform where we can share with the world our findings and expose people like Mayor Tiffany Henyard. But yeah, I thought I was going to get arrested coming here. I was ready. I was mentally... I was like, all right, I've been arrested nine times during my activism. This is going to be 10 time because there's no way in hell I am identifying to a tyrant because he doesn't know the law. Not happening. And I wasn't going to leave the building either. So, you know, things happen for a reason. The other YouTube channel that I'll link in the description, when he came here with his cameraman, he was pushed out by the police chief, I believe, and... Another uh, officer made forced to identify himself. If that never happened, I would have been arrested because I would have never ID'd to these tyrants. No way. Not, especially not to this tyrant. But let me know what you think about the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.